Where do you go in search of knowledge, skills, and understanding? To harness the potential of the human mind and spirit. To master the confidence in one's ability to effect change. Where would you find it? What would it look like? Maybe it would look like this. A dream is something that is personal um, and allowing others into your dream takes a lot of courage because it requires that you open up this dream of yours for others to participate in, for others to build, for others to contribute. And so Mr. and Mrs. Ajavon have enabled so many people to be part of this dream, the TIS dream, a dream of excellence, a dream of producing world-class citizens. The origins of Tim International School lies in the hearts of a Ghanaian couple, Mr. and Mrs. Ajavon, who together founded the school in October 2003. Mrs. Comfort Adjo Ajavon retired at the age of 45 from the Ghana Education Service as a principal superintendent to venture into the full-time poultry farming, a part-time vocation she had found to be very lucrative at the time. She did so for 13 years and then took on the mantle to start her own school after she had learned that her granddaughter could not find a school to attend due to a medical condition she had developed at birth. My daughter had a child, a girl, who had a condition they call muscular atrophy. Her muscles couldn't function. I had Sonia in 1990. She was my second child. So I realized after a few weeks that she wasn't normal. She wasn't kicking. She was not active like, you know, my first child or like any other child. So we went to the hospital and after a few tests, the doctors realized she had a problem with her muscles. You could see she was an intelligent girl and she wouldn't want to stay in the house like that. So we went around looking for a school for her. And fortunately, we went to Rocharon Montessori and the proprietors, Madame Rita Kumi, who was a very kind woman, took her on and she was kind enough to give the nanny a job as a nursery assistant. So she kept shuffling between the nursery and the primary classroom to look after Sonia and to do her work as well. With Sonia now being able to attend school, this meant that the initial idea of starting a primary school could now be changed. The founders, Mr. and Mrs. Ajavon, saw it necessary to upgrade the face of the school into an international secondary school. I got involved with TIS right from the beginning. Uh, we did about two year, two to three year work before the school actually started. Uh, the thing that helped us most is that when I had the site plan, I did right away the master plan for the project, for the school. So that's been the basic thing that I've been following throughout. Yes, I started 12 classrooms. You see, 12 classrooms in the year. I saw a core dormitory, a guest dormitory. Now the guest dormitory, and also, and also you, you see, could do be beer a small beer school. There are about eight dormitories, sir. Guest dormitories are starting. The area guest dormitory, no. I saw there about boys. You see boys dormitory, no. You see auditorium, no. You see, no. I saw na almost starting school, no. We opened the doors of the school for the first time on the 3rd of October 2003 with about uh, 67 pioneering students. When we started, I was the chairman of the board. And the board members were Mr. Titi Ofe, who was then the vice principal of SOS, because we wanted to build our school and policy on that of SOS. Being a pioneer was, should I say, uh, tough. 
your the first children are always the experimental ones. So the school tried to do new things with us all the time. Class was was different. Um, it was definitely more experimental because we did not have anything here. We used to go to SOS to do practical assignments. I mean, when it came to science. Initially, there was bare land, no trees, just sand, no basketball courts like you see now, no swimming pool like you see now. And it was basically building friendships and, you know, contacts. Being a pioneer student, uh, school was new. There was a lot that hadn't been done yet, which has been done now, which I think is um, it's very impressive. We started with just two vehicles. As a matter of fact, by that time we have asked Silverstar for two buses to be manufactured for us. And uh, I can tell you, we were renting buses like Trotro for the students. And uh, any time we do that, you know, the student doesn't want to join because their other colleagues at the first centers will be laughing at them. I cook for 10 years, for 10 years now. We've 68 students from starting. And with some department, the workers, we are 120 by then. It has not been easy though, but uh, we've been able to manage the situations. Uh, with the students, sometimes they don't want what you, you cook for them, even though it may be the right food for them, but they preferred the sweets and those things. It wasn't like this earlier on. There was no infirmary when I came in. I was first using part of the boys hostel, then the following year to the girls hostel before the infirmary was put up. And we've built it up till now. From these humble beginnings, TS is now a leading institution with over 300 students from all over the world. We became a, a center for the International General Certificate of Secondary Education, uh, shortly put IGCSE, which is uh, approved examination from Cambridge University. In 2005, they came for the IB inspection, so that we became a well-registered IB school. The uniqueness of the IB program lies in both its breadth and depth. It is not only a rigorous academic program, but is also balanced by its core elements. The core elements being CAS, Extendedesi and TOK. I chose TES because I've always been in search of that school that has a very rigorous um, academic work and that I could challenge myself with and a very unique blend of its um, extracurricular activities and Tim International School is the perfect place for that. My brother came to the school in grade seven and I saw the difference the eyes made in him. Um, he grew up more in terms of academic work, in terms of maturity, and I just wanted that same experience. It wasn't my choice in the beginning. It was my parents. They felt that um, it was a good location, better than having to go all the way to probably Cape Coast, to go to West Sea Girls, Holy Child, or any other school. Okay, now this appointment in 2003 with the main school system. A friend told us about TI as I was opening its doors. So we took a chance and brought our daughter. Ten years down the line, we have a third child just finishing IB2. At TIS, students have the unique opportunity um, from learning from highly qualified teachers and they also develop skills in time management, writing, and also have access to electronic resources in doing their work and that prepares them towards university and the working world. The advent of you know, internet facilities actually makes work very easy for students and teachers in, in TIS because uh, it's a research-based curriculum. This is a library which uh, holds a total collection of over 12,000 volumes of books. The facility is uh, automated and we also have an electromagnetic library detection system which has been integrated into the software, which enables us to check the ins and outs of books, how books are checked out and as they are returned. In TIS, PE as um, a bedrock 
of um, the education that we have here in the sense that you know when you do physical activities it gives you the opportunity to focus more in the classroom. We have four hostels, two for the boys and two for the girls. We have Catherine, we have Cecilia for the girls and then we have Francis and Anthony for the boys. Um, we have eight hostel guardians um, comprised of five women and three men and they're very much the parents away from home. I'm hostel guardian for Cecilia Hostel and it gives me a first hand job as a mother even though I don't have kids on my own. Um, I have to be able to speak to them when they're down, wake up at dawn when they're not well and it's quite a good experience. It's, it's ushering me into motherhood bit by bit. At TIS, we provide both our students and teachers with the tools to help them grow and foster a will to effect change. Our over 45 experienced, highly qualified and motivated faculty come together to lead a path towards instilling the spirit of inquiry in students as a fundamental tool for creative thinking, critical reasoning and stimulating intellectual development. We have a range of co-curricular programs here at TIS and one that I feel is quite important and one that the students really enjoy is our community service program. This allows our students to go out into the community and give back um, what they might learn in the classroom in terms of skills um, to others that are less privileged than themselves. Some of these projects include uh, building a classroom block at Akolikope. Um, we visit um, an orphanage um, where they provide support, um, whether it is helping them read, helping them write, providing them with um, bead making or jewellery making skills. Um, and this helps our students to uh, connect um, and understand the value of, of what they get here in school and recognise that some of the things they take for granted are actually valuable skills um, that others don't necessarily have. In Delma International School, we are very fortunate. Uh, we have a whole range of activities from music to sports to creativity, community service. To give you a little taste of it, from jewelry making to cooking classes, uh, cosmetology, crafts, and so much more. For the 10th anniversary, TIS is producing The Lion King, which I'm so lucky to be in. I am Young Nala, who is um, the best friend and supposed to be the wife of Simba, which the story sort of goes around and it's really fun because you learn different moves that you never think you could ever learn, you never knew that there were any moves like that. You learn how to project your voice, to make your voice do things that you didn't even know they could do. The thing I love about TIS is the many opportunities that it gives you, especially for me because I love speaking and I love debating. At last year, Temer National School initiated its debate society and I was privileged to be a part of this group and the school gave me the opportunity to represent TIS at the Young Debaters National Public Speaking Contest and I was able to win and I was, I was first and so I represented Ghana at the International Public Speaking Competition in the UK. I'm the current SRC Vice President and one of the main objectives of the SRC body this year is to be a good um, link between the student body and the school authorities because many times when the students have problems it's very hard to reach a good compromise with the school authorities. When you get to TIS you learn how to multitask. TIS has shown me or has taught me independence. It's helped me to build that teamwork spirit and ability so that I can achieve my personal goals in the future. In recent times most people are looking for international education and having been in this field for about 10 years, we hope that we have taken the lead and can match up. The brand of TIS is just admirable. We want to produce students uh, with uh, IGCSE qualification and continue with the International Baccalaureate Diploma and then from there they get into tertiary institutions. I personally want the school to, be very, to become very strong, so strong that to be number one in Ghana. I'm expecting TIS to 
soar to higher heights. A school of 10 years and we can record 51% distinctions. TIS is on the right path. I've worked in a lot of different schools in different countries and some schools have been around 50 years and they don't have it as together as TIS does right now. Strong international mindedness. That should be the way forward. And seeing the school go through a lot of stages and where we are now, I can say that the, the future of TIS is very bright. We are expecting to see TIS rubbish shoulder with other international schools. We are looking at, in 10 years, TIS becoming a school of choice. It's about um, seeing how you can bring your greatest value to play in this um, big TIS dream. I am envisaging that probably they could develop into a university status in the future. We believe that in the next decade, uh, we should be getting closer to the moon. I must say TIS doesn't even have a sky to think about, you know, a limit. We are going all out there, giving off our best and building the capacity of students. The international school in the next 10 years will take its rightful stage in the world so that everybody comes around to consult us as to how we are doing it. On behalf of our founders, Mr. and Mrs. Ajavon, our school advisor, Dr. Mrs. Sylvia Boy, our teaching and non-teaching staff, students and parents, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who has contributed to our 10th year anniversary and to the inception of our great school. Merci beaucoup. Thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. 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 Medasi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for believing in us. Medasi. Thank you. Tema International School is 10. Feliz aniversário.